Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Shengshao Pyraminx. I've had this puzzle for about a week now and I think it is a really, really nice puzzle. I did make an unboxing of this cube, but the audio didn't turn out very well, so I decided not to upload that video and only do a review. So anyway, the puzzle is quite big. As you can see, compared to a regular 3x3, it is quite a bit taller and also a lot wider than a 3x3. I'm not sure if this is a normal pyramid size, but that's it compared to a 3x3. And I'm also not sure what a normal pyramid colour scheme should look like. So I'm not sure if this one is normal or not, but the stickers are very, very nice. As you can see, they are quite bright fluorescent shades, which is quite unlike Sheng Shao puzzles. I'm not sure why they changed it, but it's actually a very good change. I really like the stickers on this puzzle. As you can see, we have a very bright fluorescent green. That's one of the nicest greens I've ever seen on a puzzle. We have quite a deep but light blue. It's very, very nice. Kind of like a royal blue. A bright yellow. And then kind of a fluorescent red. It's kind of a half bright orange. Uh, it's quite hard to explain, but it's a nice shade. Uh, the stickers are really nice quality, and I, they haven't faded or peeled at all, as you can see. Uh, they are very good quality, and they are quite thick as well. I don't know if you can notice on camera, but... Yeah, they're quite thick stickers, so they are very nice quality. So, onto the turning. This puzzle is really nice. I haven't done anything to it since I unboxed it, and it just turns amazing. As you can see, there are ball bearings in the edges, that little shiny thing there. And that helps the puzzle to click, so when I make a turn, it clicks. And that really helps for alignment issues. Uh, I find that I never overshoot with this because... Every time I turn a layer, it snaps into place, and it's really helpful when speed solving. It's really hard to explain the feeling of this puzzle. As you can see, it's very, very fast, and it's also very smooth, but obviously you have the clicking feeling. So it's, it's really hard to kind of imagine what it feels like without actually feeling it for yourself. It's a really, really nice turning puzzle, though. The feeling is so nice. And it's probably one of the nicest feeling puzzles in my collection at the moment. Also, the corners are very, very smooth and they also snap into place. So you don't really have to worry about any plus twos when speed solving because you won't overshoot when turning the corners. They snap into place very, very easily. Now, I don't think the puzzle was really designed for corner cutting, but it can cut pretty well. Uh, obviously you have the snapping mechanism so you don't really need to worry about alignment but you can still cut corners quite well as you can see uh, but again while speed solving I tend to do pretty accurate turns due to the, the snapping mechanism um, and you don't really have reverse cuts at all but like I said you don't really need it because you have the snapping mechanism to make up for it the puzzle can be tensioned by pulling off the tips, which I think is with most pyraminxes. Uh, but I find that the tensions that the puzzle came with are absolutely fine. And like I said, I've had to do nothing to this puzzle. This is exactly how it was out of the box. Uh, it's a very, very nice puzzle, and I don't think I will ever need to tension this. I've not taken this puzzle apart because, first of all, it might loosen up the cube, and I don't want to have to tension it because it never turns as well as it did before I tensioned it. Uh, but I'm sure the mechanism is just like a normal pyraminx, uh, maybe there's a bit of difference in the edges or something like that. But honestly I don't think there is much difference. Anyway guys, this has been my review of the Sheng Shao Pyraminx. It is a really great cube and I recommend it for anybody really. It's very cheap and definitely worth the price. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching.